man in his 40s, otherwise healthy except for a couple issues. He had a uh, prior uh, deep vein thrombosis, so he's on a uh, blood thinner for that. Um, he has diet-controlled diabetes, um, and he, he ends up getting admitted to the hospital for an abnormal uh, brain MRI. But then he decides he doesn't want to stay. He leaves against medical advice, but then he starts vomiting, and he, he comes back. Um, so at this point, um, they've, got a, uh, they've got a CAT scan. Um, it shows this uh, large peripherally enhancing mass. Um, it's in the deep left cerebral hemisphere. It's associated with uh, a considerable amount of, of swelling. Um, they're describing it as looking like an infiltrative, non-enhancing tumor. Um, there's this mass effect where we have a left to right um, shift um, with entrapment of the right lateral ventricle. Um, it's reported by our radiologist colleagues as typical for glioblastoma. Uh, and um, they recommend that they go ahead and get an MRI of the brain. ID doc has not been called yet. The MRI shows this um, enhancing mast in the, the left basal ganglia, periinsular region, a uh, little, little over an inch in diameter. It's got edema, this mass effect that we're de described. Um, again, concerning for high-grade glial neoplasm versus metastasis. Um, uh, additional leptomeningeal nodule in the right postcentral sulcus, um, additionally smaller peripheral enhancing lesion in the right lateral temporal region, uh, suggestion of leptomeningeal component, uh, measures uh, approximately 0 0.8 by 0 0.8 centimeters, again with some surrounding edema. Um, so, as you can sort of see, uh, this is uh, on the neurosurgical service. They're, they're worried about um, a malignancy. Um, they go ahead, do a biopsy, and the pathology comes back as brain tissue with extensive necrosis, acute chronic inflammation, <laughs> and rare <laughs> microorganisms. So it's at this point that they call the infectious disease doctor, um, and a little more history is obtained. It, it, he grew up in Haiti um, many years ago, came to the U.S. where he's living with his, his two children. You know, I mean, we, we already at this point can ask, so you say microorganisms, what, what do those look like? What kind of microorganisms in the brain, what kind of parasites in the brain are going to present in a, a way that um, you end up with a mass that might be confused with a glioblastoma?